Um. Um. So. Um. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's funny you asked that. I had to look it up because I was like, biotechnology, that's a big word. <laughs> I would use biotechnology, at least the definition of it, in very broad terms. You know, it's, it's basically the mixture of uh, biology and technology, you know, taking all different aspects of, you know, from, you know, software programming to, you know, a lot of, you know, data's out there on the inter internet. Um, um, you know, engineering, all, all different things, and you know, in biology, the life of you know, science, and just kind of combining them all to you know, to work together to make you know, new and exciting products. Essentially, anything relating to biology and the, the tools and resources that we implement to get a better understanding of biology. So, however, there's probably some who have a more specific definition and where chasing coyotes may not apply. Taking biological materials and using them in a business setting basically to either uh, pr to, to perform an action or to create something. And I've done both. Luckily. We can use them to perform an action like to uh, determine whether somebody is sick with something or whether they have a gene mutation. But we can also use biotechnology to grow bacteria up with specific genetic structures in them so we can use those for other purposes. I think of saving lives. I think of bettering people's lives and improving people's lives. That's what I think of when I hear that. If you do the two different routes, you have biology and technology, and so you've got the use of living things to improve our, the quality of our life through technology is, I guess, what the definition of biotech would be. So it really takes that technology aspect to be able to apply it in places like the laboratory that translate into the world um, because biology is, is mostly an observant sort of science it seems. Um, so this really brings the technology in to be able to give science back to the world.